through Northeastern University, get into the back bay. Northeastern University into the back bay. We're on a bike path, bike lane right now in Northeastern. Cutting through campus and recreational facilities. We just passed Ruggles. Just passed Ruggles, which has the orange line, MBTA commuter rail. Whether you're living in Boston, visiting tourist attractions, whatever. Ruggles, Ruggles. A lot of buses, 13 buses, I believe. Just wrapped around the tennis court. I'm gonna head through. Little dipsy do to get to the Mass Ave. Yeah, someone else has got it too, huh? That's the T. That was the T's uh, service that helped seniors. There's a elderly home right there on Mass Ave. Mass Ave, Pitt and Huntington. Symphony Hall up on the left. That big brick building, that's Symphony Hall. Symphony Hall. Mass Ave, we're still on Mass Ave, heading past Symphony Hall. Green Line Symphony T right there. Symphony Hall's on the left. We're on Mass Ave. We left northeast and heading towards the back bay. Northeastern the back bay. We'll bang it right here on Com Ave and use the bike paths and lanes as they're laid out. Pay attention, right versus left. And don't do that what he's doing. It's a big problem we got here already. We don't need any more. Here we go. Now you see here this lane on the right is like ending. So Gotta be very careful. Fortunately, right now it's not too busy. Make your way over to the left. We got another video that showed you how to go under and use that tunnel. You can check that one out. That's already up there. Now we're on Calm Ave. You can see, I don't know how far ahead you can see, but this will take you all the way down to the public iron. And Straight shot, but we'll go through, we'll weave in and out. Oh, sorry. Well, this is the back bay. Back bay, Com Ave, Commonwealth Ave. 
It's like the main road that goes right through it. It does have a bike lane, as you can tell, I'm on the left. It does appear on the right and the left in the back bay. You just have to, uh, just gotta pay attention. I don't know really how else to describe it. bang a left here. Take it through one of the more neighborhood streets. Still a calm app. This is just the other side of it. We'll go down here and uh, take a right. You can see that pedestrian sign right there. That's where we're going off right there. Look at Marlboro. This is Marlboro Street. Heavy residential. You see there's no bike path or lane. Much more quiet. This is a one-way road. So you got... I just stay to the right. You got to watch the doors. People opening up or pulling out. I stay to the right so the cars can get by. <clears throat> Marlboro Street. Back Bay. Exeter, Marlboro and Exeter. We're gonna take a right on Exeter. Same situation, there's no designated lane. So you gotta be careful and just use common sense. <sighs> hey, this guy wants to go right. We'll let him go right, it's a red light. What's the difference? We're waiting here anyway, so just use common sense. If there's no lane, we'll be fine. There's a guy coming down on the path. Right here, he's heading right through. He's on the path, don't come out. I thought they were going right, so all right, here we go. So we're on Exeter. We're heading towards, like back towards the library, that area, Newberry. Here's the Uber Street. Hot spot for shopping. No path on Newbury Street either. No bike path. It's the one they block off on uh, Sundays. I think it's over now. There might be one more. Um, no bike path. Not the greatest for biking. There's a lot of action here. It's a little dead right now though. I'll take you down. We'll show you a little of this. This is Newbury. Again, I'm going down here. I know it's a lighter day. Um, not ideal for biking. Lot, look at all this. A lot of deliveries, cars pulling in and out constantly. Not ideal for biking. But this is Newbury Street. I'll show it to you here. Another one way coming up. Fairfield, I'm gonna bang a right. And Boylston, back bay, edge of the public garden. All right, good path around the public garden. We showed you that, but what if you need to get to JP or Roxbury, you wanna head out? You gotta get on Arlington here. No path, it's tight, pay attention. Like I 
said, it's tight. You just got to uh, be careful here. On the right here is Davio's. Davio's. Davio's Italian Steakhouse. We got a red light. I'll show it to you. Since we have a red light, why not? Davio's right there. That's the entrance. Might be the best place in Boston. I say Davio's and Lemicello. Or sit down. Back Bay, Boston Public Garden. Right on the edge here. This is how you ride around the Public Garden. All right? There's a path, we're on it. It's bumpy, but it's there if you pay attention. See here, it's got me going right here. Oh, they're going the wrong way down it. Here it is. To the left is the Boston Public Garden. Oh, you see, we even, gotta be careful. This light jumps up on you. She was noticing all the fencing they're putting in there. Doing some work. All right, so the public garden's on the left. Looks like they're doing something to the pond itself. It's blocked, it's fenced off. is straight ahead, all right? The common, just so everyone understands, straight ahead is the common. We're going around the public garden. Two separate things, they are right next to each other. No biking in either of them. We're going around the public garden. Beacon Hill, we're going around the public garden right now, around it, on the bike path. Beacon Hills to the right, Boston Public Garden to the left. Again, Beacon Hill is to the right. Boston Public Garden is to the left. We are on Beacon Street. Kind of like where Beacon Hill and Back Bay uh, meet in the edge of the public garden. Beacon Street. Public Garden. To the right, Back Bay, Com Ab. Public Garden, right there, downtown. You can see behind it. 